Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. Let's continue with the tutorials on AutoCAD basics. Please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section to get the previous tutorials on AutoCAD basics. But before we proceed further, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So all of you be seated. Let's start with the topic. Welcome to the topic on Methods to Achieve Precision in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, you will learn Methods to Achieve Precision by combining Snap and Grid modes by using OSNAP. You will also learn Object Snap modes. To start with, we will see how snap and grid can be effectively combined to perform precision drafting. I would like to create the front elevation of this angle bracket. When you look at the dimensions, you can see that most of the dimensions are multiples of 15. I am going to make use of the snap and grid mode to create the front elevation. Though this method is not very commonly used, I would like to just give you an idea about this concept. So I will right click, go to grid settings and I'll change the values of a snap and grid spacing to 15. When you change the value in the X direction, the value in the Y direction will also get changed. And give OK. Now I'll go to line command. Now I'll plot this 60, 45, 15, then leftward 30, then 45 straight up, 15 and close. I'll start from this point. 1, 2, 3 and 4. That means it's 60. My cursor has snapped at an increment of 15 4 times. Hence, I have plotted 60 units. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, it's 45, then 15, this is 30, and you can come all the way up till this point, and you can come back to this point and give an enter. Then repeat line command, and you can draw a line connecting this end point and this end point. This is how the front view of this figure will appear. Hence, by combining snap and grid, you can achieve precision in AutoCAD. I'll turn off the grid as well as the OSNAP button in the status bar. Next we will see how to achieve precision using object snapping or OSNAP. I'll start with a line by picking two points. Now I would like to draw another line from the end point of this line. So I'll give enter to repeat the line command. And I'll just pick a point here and pick the next point here. When you look at this intersection, you might feel that it's perfectly accurate. But according to AutoCAD, this is wrong. Just zoom in this area and find out yourself. This is the inaccuracy. From this, it's clear that picking a point using the mouse in AutoCAD is not recommended. I'll erase this line. So how will you pick this end point? In AutoCAD, we have already discussed the methods to define a new point, like absolute relative coordinate methods in the last tutorial. But if you want to make use of precise or qualified points on objects, you should use object snapping. OSNAP is a method using which you can pick qualified points on objects in AutoCAD. What is meant by qualified points? I'll draw a circle over here using the center radius method. I'll give enter and I'll draw one more circle here. Qualified points are unique points. Take a line for example. How many qualified points can you show me in a line? There is a start point, end point and a midpoint. You cannot find two midpoints because it's unique. Same is the case with start and end points. Let's take a circle. How many qualified points can you show me in a circle? A circle has got a center point and four quadrant points. There is 0, 90th, 180th and 270th quadrant points. Let me draw an arc using three point method and I'll try to locate qualified points in it. When you click on it, you can see that it has got a start point, end point, midpoint and a center point. A circle do not have a midpoint, but an arc has got a midpoint. Likewise, the qualified points varies from object to object. And whenever you want to snap onto these points, you should always make use of object snapping. OSNAP works in three modes. Normal mode, running mode and override mode. What is normal mode? Make sure that OSNAP button is off. Now I would like to draw a line exactly from the end point of this line. So what I'll do is hold down the shift key of the keyboard and click the right button on the mouse to get this button menu. And over here, you can see the list of all those qualified points. Suppose if you want to take endpoint, just click on that. You will get a square symbol to indicate that it's an endpoint. 
and you will also get a tooltip to confirm it. Just press escape to cancel it and I'll repeat the line command. Shift right click and choose endpoint. You don't have to precisely place it on the endpoint but you can keep it anywhere near that endpoint. But if you keep your cursor here, this particular endpoint is identified. But if you keep it over here, the other endpoint is identified. Depending upon the location of the cursor, the closest endpoint is identified. I'll click a point here. Now I would like to draw a tangent to the circle. So shift right click, you can take tangent. I'll keep the cursor on the circle and I've drawn a tangent. You can also access OSNAP in the normal mode by inputting the first three letters using the keyboard. Suppose if you want to draw a line to the center of the circle, you can type CEN for the center. Now you got the center. Suppose if you want to draw a line to the midpoint of this arc, you can type MID for midpoint. Now if the dynamic mode is on, this will appear at the cursor location. I'll type MID and it has identified the midpoint. I'll turn off the dynamic mode. And this is how you use the normal mode of object snapping. In this mode, whenever you want to pick a point, just shift right click and you can select the desired qualified point from this menu. This will become inconvenient whenever you want to pick a point repetitively. For example, the end point, midpoint and center point you may have to use several times while creating a drawing. Such points can be always kept active over here. I'll activate end point, midpoint, center point and all those frequently used items. This can be activated by clicking on this arrow or by right clicking over here and go to object snap settings. Here you will get the drafting settings dialog where you can see all those frequently used items and give OK. Now you can enable or activate object snap button which can also be activated using the F3 function key. Suppose if I want to draw a line from the end point of this line, it will automatically cast that end point. I'll connect that line to the center, to the center, but this point satisfies three conditions. There is a center, end point as well as an intersection. In such a situation, the software takes the best decision. Hence, in running mode, all those frequently used items can be kept active in the OSNAP menu. Once those items are activated, those items will get permanently attached to the cursor and you can make use of those items as per your requirement. Now let's see the override mode. In override mode, you temporarily override the running mode to use the most infrequently used items in OSNAP. Let's see an example. In OSNAP, we have an item called nearest. This option when activated will let you catch a closest point but not a qualified point. That means if I take the cursor onto this arc, it will snap onto the nearest point. I can snap onto this point or I can snap onto this particular point. If I want to catch onto the Zen point, only if my cursor is precisely at the Zen point, I'll get it. But the moment I move away from the end point, the nearest option takes precedence. Suppose if I want to snap onto the quadrant point here, I'll activate quadrant. Only if my cursor is exactly on the quadrant, it will identify it. The moment you move away from the quadrant, nearest will take precedence. From this, it's clear that the nearest option should not be used as a running mode. The solution is to use nearest snap in the override mode, which is obtained by shift right clicking the mouse and choose nearest. Alternatively, you can also type NEA for nearest. Now I have only the nearest OSNAP item attached to the cursor and rest of the items are disabled. Suppose if I want to draw a line to the nearest point here, just click here, the nearest item is used. That means you are temporarily overriding the existing running OSNAP. Once the override mode is used, you will come back to the running mode. Now I am back to the running mode. You can also access the override mode by right clicking the mouse on the screen. Here you have snap overrides. For example, I need perpendicular and this item is not activated in the running mode. Click on perpendicular and I want to draw a perpendicular to this line. You can take the cursor onto this line and make a click and it's a perfect perpendicular to that line. Now you are back to the running mode. In this tutorial, we have learned methods to achieve precision by combining snap and grid modes. By using OSNAP, we have also learned object snap modes. In the next video, we will continue with the same topic of methods to achieve precision in AutoCAD. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group SabirCAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you 
to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.